So let's start it without any further ado. Pretty close. <laughs> that was awesome. I'm yeah. gonna cut that. You're gonna cut that? Cut no, of that. course Come not. On. That was amazing. We just had like musical. We had a moment. Symb symbiotic relationship there, if that works. Well, maybe. Anyway, game for an update time. How you guys doing? Pretty good. Pretty good. 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 And after that intro, I, I'm awesome. Yeah. Yeah. If you'd like, you could, we could do it again. You could join us. No, yeah. I it's enjoy always, watching. It's always me and James doing the the intro. For this one, for this show. So, <laughs> so, uh, so yeah. Let's just talk about. Uh, I mean, the big, the big uh, thing this week is Diablo three. What? Uh, yeah, Diablo three. Mm. Yeah, yeah. So it why, is. Why were you questioning me? I just. Uh, what is this game? Diablo three. Diablo three. What's I feel that? like if I was. I would have heard of it if it was like playable on the first day or something. <laughs> oh, uh, playable uh, on the first day. Oh. Sorry, anyone who works at Blizzard. Uh, so yeah, uh, there are a lot of issues with uh, Diablo 3's launch. Imagine that you have a game as big worldwide as Diablo 3, and you make a singular launch, global launch time. Uh, there's a lot of people that want to get, get in, and the service crash. Now, I don't understand how the... And I'm not trying to make this racist at all, and I don't know why it would come across, but there was a South Korean person that beat it, and if it was crashing, how did they play the game? Like, well, did they? How long does it take to beat the game? And if the servers didn't work at launch, how in the world did they? It was like the next. It wasn't morning, that was, they didn't work at launch. It was that they uh, they didn't work for like the first hour and a half. Oh no! Not the first hour and a half! Oh my gosh! Send them back to the store. That's it. That's what this whole thing's been about. An no. hour and a half. All right. So at launch, oh uh, the God. servers were down for about an hour and a half, and then intermittently they've been taken down. Uh, they've been laggy, and that's what a lot of people have been. Okay, complaining so about. they've been laggy. But if you're playing single player, you're not going to experience lag problems. Just no. server connection issues. That's the thing. There is no actual single player because you have to be connected to the internet at all times in order to play Diablo 3. Oh, that's upsetting. Yeah. But I, I thought that you would just need a connection to make sure that you're online. It wouldn't be running anything off the internet except for like... No, the servers are all on the internet. So if, if you cannot log into the server, you cannot play Diablo 3. Oh. Oh. All right. Sorry, <laughs> I was. I guess I was, I was. Sorry, everybody that was upset with the hour and a half plus the other intermittent problems. Yeah, I apologize. So that that was actually the subject of a of a Gamefront article this week. It was let me see, complaining about Diablo three is allowed. Oh yeah. So um, there are a lot of people that are like, oh, exactly what you did. I'm sorry. Oh, I'm so sorry. You I, tiny I, little babies yeah. think that you should be able to play your game that you paid sixty dollars for whenever Anytime you want. You want. I know. Like, <laughs> the nerve. Where do we have the nerve of doing that after giving them sixty dollars to what essentially pay for like a subscription service in a weird way? In a weird way, yeah. In a really weird way, yeah. Because I mean, you're tied to when their servers are up. That's what I'm getting. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Anyway. And Diablo three is not an MMORPG, so it, sh it you shouldn't have to. Uh, go in with the same kind of expectations of, oh, you know, they're doing server maintenance, I can't play this right now. Sorry, I'll go play, you know, League of Legends or something like yeah, that. I agree, but, <laughs> you know, I, I kind of agree with some of what they're doing. I'm sure I'll have a lot of people that disagree with my agreement, but why don't they just have, like, a separate little tiny program, like, almost as small as an instant messenger where you just sign in, and as long as you're signed in and you have a legitimate copy, you don't have to be on a server. Mm. So you can I, honestly, server. I think... I think the reasoning, and I might be totally wrong with this, but I think the reason behind uh, the always on the internet thing, uh, having your character saved on their server rather than locally on, on your computer, is because Diablo 2 and Diablo 1 had a huge problem with, uh, with hacking. And mm. like people, you know, hacking items and destroying, basically destroying the economy of, of Diablo. Uh, so I think that's probably the biggest reason behind why. Blizzard did this, and that they kind of took it as a sacrifice that people would always have to be, you know, waiting for their servers to be working in order to play. Okay. So that's that's my reasoning. Is it worth it? Well, probably not. They should have included like a mini game where you just <laughs> click something for as long as you want. I guess that's what it is. It's the refresh mini game. 
uh -huh. uh, to try to refresh the server. Kind of yeah. like how this, you can play Snake when a video is loading on YouTube. I've never done it, but I've heard legend has it you can't. <laughs> yes. I don't think anyone's ever proved it. But Do not hold down the left arrow. All right. All right. So let's. Uh, I guess we'll talk about uh, thoughts of DL3. Have you actually played it yet? You, I know you, you have it. I, I have not played it. I've watched other people play it. Besides you, in fact. Uh -huh. So. I mean, so, I'm the only one with experience with Diablo 3? All right. Well, I, I haven't played it, but I feel pretty experienced with it. Um, <laughs> what we really want to do is to try to do a, uh, a three-person walkthrough mm -hmm. of hardcore mode. Mm -hmm. And hardcore mode, for those that don't know, is basically uh, if you die in hardcore mode, you're dead. You don't respond. Your character is done for. Uh, and I think it would be fun is if we did a three-person... Uh, until the last man is standing, kind of see walk how far through. we can get through. Yeah, and like once one once James dies, well, it'll just be me and Zach playing. No, no, I would be able. To, <laughs> I would bring you guys as far as you could go, which with my help you could almost beat the game. Yeah. Uh, but once you're gone, I'd have a long time of loneliness getting through the. James end. will be like the guy running with the kites that are me and Zach, and eventually he'll trip and fall, and we'll go flying, and James will just stay right there. You don't have faith in me. <laughs> so yeah, I, I'm enjoying uh, Diablo 3. It's very similar to uh, Diablo 2. The skill system is the big change in it. And I'm, I'm actually... There's one thing that I have a problem with with the skill system, and that's when you level up, um, basically what you do, you have, you have your set of skills, and then each time you level up, uh, you get a rune for one of those skills. And a rune kind of gives it a little bit... Uh, of an improvement, sometimes it changes the skill a certain way. Does it way. visually change anything? Uh, yeah, it visually changes it also. Um, but the thing is, if you if you don't really like that skill, uh, there's nothing like you level up and you're like, oh, that was disappointing. Now I have to wait until the next level up for me to. You know, it it, it kind of takes the the thrill out of getting a level up sometimes. So what what used to happen when you level? When you leveled up, you would have a skill point, and you would have stat points. So you'd assign your stat points, and then you'd get a skill point that you put into any skill that you have unlocked. So, so right you now you can only put the ruin into the thing that you were using when you leveled up? Yeah. Right. So it's kind of like Skyrim. Well, not really, because let, let's say you have, you know, you have your, uh, your Frost Nova skill, and it says that at level 8, you will get a rune for the Frost Nova skill. Well, what if you don't use Frost Nova? Oh, I see. Yeah, it's annoying. Yeah, it's it's it just takes a little bit of the thrill out of leveling, leveling up for me. But yeah, other than that, because if you wanted, you could like totally max out one side of a player, which yeah. is uh, uh, that's that's what I like about role playing games. I never, I rarely play a average character with that's a jack of all trades, like the Skyrim with danger. Mm -hmm. All magic, no nothing else. And sure, I've probably lost a lot because of it, but I feel it's much more fun to have like a, a super skill. Yeah. And I guess, am I doing that with Dark Souls? I don't even know. <laughs> I don't know how I'm. I don't know what Dark you're Souls. doing with Dark Souls. Uh, okay, moving on from Diablo Three, let's talk about Max Payne Three, which is a game that we have all played. So Zach, you're the most experienced with it. What do you think about Max Payne Three so far? I've loved the game. I think. We all have, really. Um, besides the, sh the weird issues we've had with cutscenes, trying to replay certain sections and then having to sit through them, and then the one or two glitches we've ran, ran into, uh, I think it's a solid game. I'm enjoying it thoroughly, mm -hmm. and I will continue to. I've replayed, I've started at home, personally, uh, replayed the, you know, you, the section you get to the soccer level. Mm -hmm. I've started that over three or four times. Like, just started the game back over just because I've experienced enjoyed it so much, but then I wanted to like start trying to find the golden guns once James started doing I it. have a walkthrough that could help you with that. Yeah. <laughs> no, I know. It's, it's pretty good. It's like in-depth. You find all the parts to all the guns. Uh, we're, we're I'm assuming it. you were sick when you recorded it. <laughs> what? I don't Wrong know. No, that was a character. That oh. was a character. It's my grizzled detective. You're noir. You're Conveniently noir named James. Oh. Uh, <laughs> and it sounds like this. So get out of get out of that's, but but usually I use words. Words. I string okay. them together in those form sentences and complete thoughts. Okay, because if I was going to be watching you run around Max <laughs> Payne, so I'd, I'd still watch that video now I think about it. And I know plenty of people who would. 
Anyway. Awkward silence. Yes. Uh, my, my thing with Max Payne 3 is that I also think it's a great game. Uh, I think it's a good thing that Max Payne 3 is so good at, you know, doing shooting gameplay because that's really all that there is to it. Are you joking? Are you not? Are you are you dismissing the story? Well, no, no, no. That uh, I was gonna say. Also, it's also a good thing that the style and story is so good. So you're saying it's a damn good thing that they can make a good story with great gameplay, because otherwise it'd be useless. No, you 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 <laughs> neglected to say that I said shooting gameplay. So I mean to say. There is really only one thing you do in Max Payne, and that is shoot dudes and go into slow motion. Yeah, that's the gameplay. I don't know what to tell you, Mitch. What were you expecting? Well, look at something like Uncharted, which is able to really well uh, mix, you know, platforming, puzzle solving, mm -hmm. and shooting, and it does in such a and having a great story. But that's the type of game it is. To be fair. Yeah, I know. I know. Max Payne is a different game. It, it doesn't need you know the Indiana Jones feel of Uncharted Three. No, I, I know. I'm just it wants saying. the man on fire, simple shoot, and yes, have fun, slow mo, explosion. Yeah, I like. I, I feel. I'm just saying of... the variety isn't there in Max Payne Three. All right, you might be correct. <laughs> There's not a lot of variety, but sometimes you want your entertainment streamlined for vicious, gory, yeah. bloody action. Uh -huh. And like, you can slow down the bullets, and like, yeah, sure. There's a bullet that's already gone through somebody's head, but in slow mo, you could just riddle them. Yeah, I over love, and over and over. I yeah. love to send some cams. friends over there. I love the kill cams where you you get the la the last person and it goes slow motion. You can slow it down. And then what's also really cool is they keep you keep on firing. I saw you joking. Is that, is, is that what they're doing in the game? That's brilliant. I haven't seen that. You yet. haven't seen that yet? No. Oh, that's <laughs> awesome. <laughs> you were. They're right. Was I was? Were you saying that? <laughs> that's thing? exactly what I just said. I exactly. told exactly word for word, literally what? repeating them like you didn't even. <laughs> that's <listen>. great. <laughs> I, sometimes, sometimes uh, when James goes into his his character for for uh, for noir stuff, I just totally block him out for ten minutes at a time. That character <laughs> I was just playing was the real James Heath. <laughs> <laughs> so you can watch us later and be and know for sure. Uh, so, is there anything else on your list? Uh, Dark Souls New Game Plus. I've done a Dark Souls New Game Plus walkthrough. Uh, I've, I've kind of stopped it uh, because of Diablo 3, but I would like to get back into it. And James, the one of the highest rated comments on your Dark Souls video would be that they want to see you join me on it. Okay, well so, at first I didn't want to, I didn't want to do that, but uh, but I will. I, I'll, I'll definitely join. They twist Maybe not for all. Well, you know what, I just didn't think anybody would want to see me help Mitch, because part of the fun of watching Mitch do Dark Souls is is the way that he just struggles through it. Right. <laughs> and an if I was to alleviate all of that with my expertise, it might just dull down the walkthrough. Yeah, no one's gonna watch it then. But if they want, it's gonna be a quick walkthrough. Yeah. yeah. Four hundred um. hours later. <laughs> anyway, uh, sir. All right. So then we got next week. We got uh, Dragon's Dogma, and I'm hoping that I'm able to get through uh, enough of Diablo three where I can. can convince boss man to let me stop playing it for a little bit and do uh, Dragon's Dogma because I'm really looking forward to that game. And then we also have Ghost Recon, uh, which I think James would probably take on. Mm -hmm. And yeah, you don't know anything about Ghost Recon, do you? I mean, I've played Ghost Recon oh, you did? a long time ago. Yeah, I don't remember what one. In fact, I feel like I played one on the PSP. Oh. Is but that yes. the one you played? Recon, I can't remember. What it's I don't know. Is it made by? Is it Tom Clancy? Yeah. yeah. You know, I think I have played some of those. Mm -hmm. I don't know. They, there are so many of them, and I don't think they're bad. I'm just not a big fan of them. Mm. All right. Well, uh, that's all I have on my thing, uh, my little notepad. Do you guys have anything else you want to add? Um. Oh. Oh yes, I do. Tomorrow. <laughs> Tomorrow, so this is a time-sensitive thing. I'm going to be interviewing somebody at Capcom about the game Devil May Cry 3. And no, you're not. What am I doing? Devil May Cry 3 Boom, came out Brent, like stop. 10 years ago. I had some questions to ask him about <laughs> Devil May Cry 3. So what I need from you guys, because he's going to be busy with my three questions, what do you want to know about Devil May Cry 4? No! <laughs> 
Why are you doing this interview? I want to kill you so bad. Devil May Cry 5, just like I was going to say. It's not Devil May Cry It's called Devil May Cry. Five. No. Which one is it? It's, it is the fifth Devil May Cry game, but That's it's not Devil May Cry 5. Guys, I need your help or I'm going to lose You got to give me some intelligent questions to ask him, and I hope he doesn't see this video. But uh, some questions about Devil May Cry. So I'd appreciate it. You could always just ask me. I don't know if he, he's uh, as big a fan as as, uh, as you guys might be. But I'll, I'll, I'll hear some of your questions. Do you want to... I'm so jealous. I'm sorry. But it's really close to my house, and I can't miss it. <laughs> <laughs> it's like two blocks from where I live. Oh, it's going to be sweet. Uh, bye, guys. Don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. I almost forgot. Are we doing this again? What? This again? This again. I don't know. I feel like... Oh. Oh. oh.